Today I'm going to give you a tour of my ultimate mom car, my Honda Odyssey minivan. About a month ago, I did an extreme cleaning detail of my disaster minivan at the time. And right afterwards, I went onto Amazon and I bought a whole bunch of stuff to help me keep my car more organized and clean for the future. So I'll show you what I got, what I like, some car hacks that I didn't really like. And then I'll just show you just the stuff that I keep in my car so that I can be prepared for anything and everything when I am out and about with my three kids. We'll start from the front and work our way back. First, we have what I keep in my side door. I got some mouthwash. You gotta wear masks everywhere you go. If you just ate like a super garlicky meal when you're out, you might wanna use that before you put your mask back on. Then I just have this safety device that you can use in case of emergency. This end is to break a window and this end is to cut the seat belt. Food related gift cards that I need to just use up, I always keep right here so that I can use them at the drive through I have just my, my ball all cap for when I go out to the park with my kids. And then this is where I keep my kids' little snacks. I have three applesauce pouches so that I can give one to each of my kids if we're on our way to an event or something and I know they need a quick little bite. And then I have three packs of little cheddar bunnies. I don't like to keep a lot of food in my car just because I've learned that it ends up sitting and getting stale or old. So for the last month, I've really just stuck to this tiny little stash of snacks and I haven't run into a situation where we run out of food because I also keep snacks in my little day backpack that I take out with us. So that's another option. This is kind of just the easy, quick stash. If someone's like crying and complaining in the back and I'm at a stoplight, I don't need to fiddle with my backpack. I can just grab it and hand it back to them blindly. Next, we have the garbage, which I absolutely love. First, if it's perfectly in this little gap I have in my car, you can attach on this bottom portion here, which is perfect for me because it fits underneath here and then keeps it from toppling over. Like it is very firm in here. For the last month, I've had zero issues with this ever falling or losing any trash. I'm lining mine with a small trash bag that I already keep in my car, but you can use pretty much any grocery shopping bag that you get to line it with. And then this strap is really great at keeping the bag in place so it doesn't fall in on itself. Next, we have something I'm going to label as a fail. I got these car seat, seat gap catcher things. I think these would work well if your seat just always stayed in one place. But the problem with my car, no matter how I configure it, I can have this in here. But as soon as I turn on my car, the seat starts moving. My seat moves up to the position that I have it automatically set for, and then it's like not even in the seat gap anymore. So I don't know, I might leave this one over here just because I never really move this chair and it's just kind of an extra pocket or holder. I can put my phone in here if I have two cups over here. But this one, because this chair moves so much, I, I know I need to actually clean down here. It hasn't actually caught that much because there's still a little gap right here. Like I'm just gonna take this out because the chair just moves too much for this to actually work. Sticking up front, the next thing I'll show you is just this center console, which admittedly is pretty messy. I tried finding some sort of divider that I could put in here and there just really isn't much on the market. First thing I have is just a spare hair binder in case I ever need it. I have my reusable mask that I keep in here, antibacterial hand wipes, some Eclipse spearmint gum. I have my alcohol flush reduction pills for the rare occasion that I go out and want a drink. Some more gum, just juicy fruit. This is the gum that I bribe my kids with to be good at Target. <laughs> Not not my two-year-old, but my four-year-olds. And then the last thing I have in here is just a little cleaning tool that I actually do like. Could you live without it? Probably. But since I already have it, I do use it. It just cleans the dust off of stuff in hard-to-reach places. And then you can also clean the air vents too and just get all the dust. It fills into all of the cracks really well and it pulls out. 
just any of the dust and debris. So over time, I mean, it does pick up a lot. So it starts getting gross, but I'm assuming you can just use it until it stops being effective. So that is everything I keep in there. Oh, and I also keep just some spare reusable masks for if my husband or whoever just happens to hop into my car, they have one as well. Or if mine is being washed and I, I forgot it. So in my passenger door, I keep this auto glass cleaner and this original protectant for everything else. I got these tiny little bottles at the Dollar Tree. It's nice to have little bottles to keep in the car rather than the huge like normal size one that you would get at Target, Walmart, Amazon, wherever. So I like having these little bottles. It doesn't take up too much space in my car. And then I keep two microfiber rags in here too. This blue one is for glass. The yellow one is for everything else. And keeping these items just up front in the passenger side makes it really easy for me to do a super quick wipe down of the front if I have just a spare minute or two and things are starting to look grimy. So when I'm all done, I can just roll this up and then put it all back in the passenger door. Next feature that I really like about my car is it has this little hook right here so I can hook my backpack and it doesn't have to be just like floating around. It doesn't potentially fall over and tip onto the floor. But I also have these hooks hanging off of the back of my seat that I also really like and it can be used for the same thing. I really liked these specific hooks because they are plastic and they kind of fold in a little bit. So with my kids getting in and out of the car all the time, I don't have to worry about them like getting caught or hurting themselves on this hook the way I was afraid they potentially would on the other ones I saw on Amazon. But I like having these hooks. You can hang grocery bags off of here. You can hang lunch boxes off of here, like really just anything. It's a nice to have. Oh, and I forgot to show you my little tray. Let me go back up front. So I have this little tray that I just keep back there. The thing I like about this tray is since my boys have started some extracurricular activities, but I'm not allowed inside due to everything going on in the world, I keep this little tray in my car so that I can work off of it, eat off of it, whatever. All you gotta do, let me wait for it to go down. You hooked this to your steering wheel. And then you got a perfect little tray right here that you can have your meal from or I'll put my computer on it and get a little bit of work done while the kids are at their activity for 30, 40 minutes. And it's very sturdy. Like I'm not worried about my laptop falling off of it in the least. Also just wanna note that I have two like settings on my car for seat adjustment. And basically I have number one as my main seat adjustment. This is when I start my car, my car will automatically go to the way I've adjusted my seat for driving. But when I wanna pull out this or get some eating done in the car, this is not my husband's setting. This is my personal food eating setting. So when I click number two, the seat automatically goes all the way down and all the way back so that I have maximum space and room to eat or get some work done. So yes, I realize that this might seem a little bit extra and I admit it kind of is, but it also is really convenient just the few times a week that I have to sit in my car and wait for my kids to be done with things. I don't have to like crunch down and try to get work done in my lap. I can have a nice little desk to work from. Another thing I forgot to show you in the front of my car is this little sunglasses holder. I have a sunglass holder in my car, but it only fits one pair of sunglasses. And I generally have two pairs of sunglasses in my car and sometimes three, but these are nice because it just holds the sunglasses for me. I have prescription lenses on my sunglasses, so they're not cheap sunglasses by any means. And I don't want them on the floor, potentially breaking or rolling around and getting scratched since I spent a pretty penny on them. And I like the bling. I think the bling is really pretty and it came in other colors too. And if your glove box is a mess and you've ever been pulled over by the cops and scrambled to find your insurance paperwork, I started putting mine in a little envelope like this so it's easy to find. I haven't had to use it yet since driving the minivan because who, who pulls over a minivan? Okay, back to the back. 
There's a little cup holder back here that I keep my kids's. My kids have their little face masks back there. And then a hack that I, I am just over. Several other YouTubers suggested putting these silicone cups into your kids' cup holders to prevent grime from coming up. But like, my kids end up just messing around with them. Half the time they're on the floor and I'm putting them back. This one disappeared. I don't even, I don't even know where it went. No, no clue. So we're just missing one. It's probably on the ground in a random parking lot, unfortunately. So I'm just taking these out because my kids just throw them around. So it, it defeats the whole purpose of them. Just because it has been so cold this winter here, I have extra hat and gloves that my kids can put on if we go out to a park. I have some diapers and wipes over there if I have to change my toddler. I got Luso branded car seat protector covers to go underneath my car seats. And you know what? I really like them. The car seat is very firmly in place because, thank you, Luso, it has this non-stick back and it's extremely padded. So I almost feel like my car seats are more in place now than they were when they had to sit on just like this really slippery, almost plastic like leather. Like I don't, I'm not even sure if this is real leather. It's so slippery. It kind of feels like pleather. And so I feel like this actually sticks better and makes my car seat ugh, 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 stick better. Like it is not going anywhere. So there's a lot of different car seat covers. These ones were not the cheapest, but I'd heard from multiple of y'all and just looking up stuff online, it seems like this Luso gear was at least approved for my Graco car seats. So for me, it was worth paying double the price to get the brand that was considered the safest. Oh, another thing I love about this car is the all weather floor mats. I mean, a little bit has gotten underneath it over the last month, but overall, these all weather floor mats, I mean, they just keep the carpet so protected. The goldfish graveyard isn't being dug into and like put all over the carpet that's super hard to clean. It's being shoved all over this, which is a lot easier to clean. All right, moving to my trunk. I feel like my trunk has come a long way from when you last saw it. First, I'll just talk about what we have over here. I have my boys' little swim bag. They do swimming lessons once a week and I have it just ready to go so I don't even need to think about it when it comes up for this week. I have more wipes just in case we run out, little swim diapers, just emergency waters, emergency face masks if we need it more regular diapers. I have some juice boxes just in case. My husband got me this. I've only used them like one time. I haven't really needed to use them yet, but they're basically extra, extra large paper towels. So I figured I could keep them in my car. In case of emergency spills, I might be able to use them, but I also keep this really large towel and then these other little towels in my car just for when it's actually a reasonable temperature outside. If we go to the splash pad, I have those towels ready to go. I also like to do picnics with my boys. You know, less cleanup for me. The, the, the bugs and the animals can eat up our crumbs. But I have this, I don't want to expand it and have to put it back together. You can roll it up and Velcro it shut so it fits nicely in your car. But it's a nice waterproof picnic blanket for when I want to have picnics with my boys because truthfully I just don't want to clean up my kitchen table all the time so it's easier to just eat outside. Then I also have our tiny little potty I line with these little garbage bags and that way my kids don't have to use public restrooms when we're out and about or we don't have to leave a park if they have to go number two. I can just line this little potty with these garbage bags. They can do their business in the car with some privacy and and then I can tie up the bag, toss it, and we can keep playing without having to leave. I also have this first aid kit right here for, you know, obvious reasons in case of emergencies and say in case someone gets hurt. Then in this pocket right here, I have to ship a lot of stuff. This is my shipping pocket. 
So I have packing tape so I can pack up stuff for giveaways, whatever. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I do my giveaways. But whenever I ship stuff out, I have my packing tape ready to go here. I have my little labels, pens so that I can write down the addresses and then tape down the address on the package. But I just found that I am constantly shipping so much stuff and I can, I can never find my freaking shipping tape ever that it's just easier to always leave some of it in my car so it's always there when I need it. Then I have my City Select double stroller here. So this is a minivan, right? So it has three rows. This third seat, lately I've been keeping this third seat down so that I can easily store my double stroller in this little part here. That is actually why I bought this specific back seat contraption because it originally came with three. That one up there, you can zip onto this one. So if I were to bring this third seat up and have a full straight back, I could have this hanging from the entire back. But since I know that I split my seats up a lot, I got this one that has detachable sides and just get maximum use out of the device. And the other thing that I like about this one, a lot of these back seat hangers don't have this Velcro piece on the back. Depending on how the seat is situated, this thing could just be floating and like moving all over the place. But this has this Velcro so that it sticks to the back of the seat and you don't have to hear it swinging around in the back and everything stays much more secure. So yes, that is my back seat. I love this hanging organizer. I like having a sturdy like bucket to hold essentials in the back. And then I still have room to put grocery bags and stuff in here if I want, stack it up. Okay, I'm editing this video right now and my kids are sleeping in their rooms over there. So I'm going to talk kind of quiet. I forgot to film an outro. So this is me filming an outro. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my lovely minivan. If you have any car hacks or car products that you love, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos that should be floating over the screen and I will see you in the next video. Bye.